Hello students, welcome to Saran's Biology. Today we are going to extend our discussion in the chapter number 5 of class 9th. I am very sure all of you must be keeping very healthy. I know schools are not opened, most of you are resorting to the online mode of education. This is just an extension towards the same. But you can reduce your screen time, watch these videos and then go to your textbook, read them carefully. In the previous videos, we have discussed about origin of cell, how cell was discovered, what is the basic difference between a plant cell and animal cell, how prokaryote and eukaryote differs and also we have seen the structure and function of the nucleus. So today we are going to talk about cytoplasm and cell organelle. The cell organelles are going to be very special. We will talk about G E R L. Well, you have heard it right, it is not girl, G E R L, Golgi body, endoplasmic reticulum and lysosome. These are very special organelles. So let us begin. When we see a cell, we find that the outermost covering is called as plasma membrane and there is a structure in the center of the cell, generally in the center called as nucleus. In between there is a fluid or jelly like substance which holds most of the cell organelle that is called as cytoplasm. So that matrix holds all the organelle together. The term protoplasm as we have already uh, seen was uh, coined by Purkinje. Protoplasm includes cell cytoplasm and the nucleus. Nucleus holds all the important cell organelle including uh, the membrane bound organelle like endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, uh, mitochondria, plastids, vacuoles and also some inclusions like ribosomes, like uh, microfibrils and other component. It is also storehouse of nutrients, contains molecules like uh, protein molecules, some starch granules and other chemicals. So it is one place where many things take place. Reaction processes and also various organelle coexist. Today we will talk about basic cytoplasm. So you know that if you are going to stain a cell, you might have seen staining of a cell, you might have stained uh, the onion peel. There when you use some stain like eosin, the nucleus is darkly stained whereas the cytoplasm it lightly stained, it stains light pink. And uh, that is one important thing. So as far as the components are concerned, what is the main component of the cytoplasm? And a part of it, it contains fat, protein, carbohydrate and various organic substances. It is generally semi-solid which holds many different cell organelles. What is the need of this? As I have already told, it is the site of chemical reactions. It provides place for existence of various cell organelles. Right? This is uh, the, this was discovered by Felix Dujardin, the French uh, cytologist you can call. Now let us move on to the cell organelle. Cell organelles, as you find that in case of eukaryotic cells, there are many organelles which are characterized by membrane bound structures and perform different function. This is not so in case of prokaryotic organism, prokaryotic cell rather say. So, you have seen details in the details prokaryote and eukaryote mein basic difference ye bhi tha. eukaryote in the membrane bound nucleus. Hote hain. Uske alawa, membrane bound organelles. Bhi hain. So, as you can look inside, uh, you will find there are some membrane bound organelles like mitochondria, chloroplast, nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, and some are not bound by membranes like cell inclusion. They are called as cell inclusion, includes ribosome and centriole. As you know, cell thrives on movement of substances from outside to inside and from inside to outside. As we have seen through plasma membrane, these movements are called as endocytosis and exocytosis. So the substances are taken in, new substances are being made and they are being sent off. So there is a system inside the cell which is made by three important organelles, Golgi body, 
endoplasmic reticulum and lysosome. These organelles work in a system to process endocytosed material and synthesized material. They also ingest the thing, digest it and then take it to the site for uh, further modification. So, these organelle provides the mechanism for processing of component and its movement from outside to inside and from inside to outside. Let us talk about endoplasmic reticulum. These are the network of reticulum which are tiny tubular structures. They are scattered in the cytoplasm, but you will find them near to the nucleus. If you see the uh, diagram of uh, cell, uh, let me take a pen tool, right? And uh, you find that these are these reticulums, they can be seen having some dot like structure, some granule like structure, right? These are nothing but ribosomes, the special molecule that forms protein, right? So, these also are the seed for ribosomes, hence they give a rough appearance and that is why they are called as rough endoplasmic reticulum. Whereas, you will find there are some other tubules which does not have these ribosomes over them and they give a very smooth texture, they are called as smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So, there is a polymorphism, there is a difference form existing inside the cell, one called as RER or rough endoplasmic reticulum another is SER or smooth endoplasmic reticulum. They are made up of uh, single membranes, but ribosomes will be always seated on the outer side. You can find it is not on the inner side, they are seated on the outer side. And these organelles are very, very small, so they can be seen with the help of electron microscope. So, as you can see here out, the nuclear material, so substances are formed, they are channelized through nuclear pore and they come to the endoplasmic reticulum. So, why this two type of endoplasmic reticulum are seen? As you can find here out smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum. Can you think? Can you guess? Uh, you should make a wise guess out of it. As I have already told these ribosomes, they are the protein factory. I have also mentioned uh, something like ATS. So, do not get distracted by this, AT is the unit, S is the S is the Swedberg unit. So, in case of prokaryote, the size is smaller, 70 Swedberg, in case of eukaryote, it is 80 Swedberg, Swedberg. So, these organelles will be found where? In prokaryote or eukaryote? Yeah, you are correct, in eukaryote, hence the ribosome will be of ATS. Now, let us see what function do they perform. Ribosomes are of two types RER and SER. So, rough endoplasmic reticulum are site of protein synthesis as you can see here out, they are site of protein synthesis and proteins what do they make? They make important enzymes and also some proteinaceous hormones. So, it form material that are modified in the Golgi body. So, they are basically the site for protein synthesis, but what about SER smooth endoplasmic reticulum? they are the manufacturer for fat molecule. Just keep in mind, I will ask another question based on this. So, when they make fat, they are also involved in synthesis of steroid hormone, the hormone that are made from lipids. These are the detoxifying centers of the cell. They break down uh, the poison and drug materials. They also act as skeletal system of the cell. So, if we take a gross function, gross function, you can just take it like this for the examination point of view, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, the functioning of enzymes and hormones to carry out biochemical activities, right? Or RER forms the uh, pro proteinaceous component, they form uh, enzymes and protein hormo hormone. Endoplasmic reticulum also serves as a channel for transport of material between the various region from one region of the cell to another region and smooth endoplasmic reticulum acts as agent or center for detoxification. As I have mentioned, RER forms protein, ACR forms lipid. So, 
what is plasma membrane made up of? It is made up of phospholipid bilayer. So, you can call these lipid and protein formed from endoplasmic reticulum, they are actively involved in formation of plasma membrane. So, this helps in formation of membrane, hence it is called as membrane biogenesis. Membrane biogenesis, as you can find RER, SER, uh, the components are sent to Golgi, it forms secretory vesicles that ultimately fuses to form plasma membrane. But the whole story is it forms protein and lipid, they are integrated and formed into plasma membrane. That is why it is very, very important organ. You can call it is a roadway, it is a network of the cell. Let us move to the next one. The scientist, Italian scientist Camillo Golgi, he discovered some discrete organelles inside a cell and called it Golgi apparatus or Golgi bodies. They are also membrane bound, single membrane and they occur as tubules, vesicles or cisterni. Right? They are seen segregated towards the nucleus. And you will see that wherever these Golgi apparatus are present, the area beside them will be clearer. Right? Uh, you will have fewer or no cell organelles present at that vicinity, which is called as zone of exclusion. In case of plant, they are very, very unorganized and unconnected. So, they are called as dictyosomes. This question is generally asked in MCQ also. Dictyosomes, they are also Golgi, Golgi bodies, but fragmented one unconnected and found in plant. So, let me ask you one question, who discovered Golgi? Definitely the name says Camillo Golgi. It is called as the packager of the cell, packager and modifier of the cell. Let us see. So, if you look into it, you will find there are two faces. One face is the convex face which faces the nucleus, right. That is called as cis phase okay? and the other phase towards the cytoplasm, towards the plasma membrane that is concave and that is the budding phase, right? that is the trans phase. It blebs the molecule. So, what is the mechanism here out? This phase material is received, they are modified and from the trans phase they are packed and delivered out. So, some sort of modification, you can take an example of uh, a small factory, maybe paper industry, it receives the raw material, then it converts into paper, packs it and then delivers it to the market. Let us talk about the function of Golgi bodies. Golgi bodies help in synthesis of polysaccharide. They form complex molecule from the simpler sugar. They help in formation of glycoproteins. And it is also involved in the transformation. One more component does it form and that is the lysosomes. We will read the next cell organelle and uh, so they are responsible for secretion and transportation inside the cell. Now when we talk about the next organelle of the GARL system, it is lysosomes. Lysosomes are the small sized enzyme containing vesicle. They contain lot of enzyme, lot of hydrolytic enzymes. right? And let me tell you one important fact about lysosomes. Whenever cell is damaged or destroyed, some component, these lysosomes burst open and their content digest the cell itself. Hence, it is called as suicidal bag, right? They are formed by the Golgi body. From where the enzymes are being formed? From RER, right? But they are very, very important in the cellular defense mechanism. They destroy the foreign material which enter the cell, right? They also helps in digestion because whenever the food is taken inside in the form of uh, food vacuole, it mixes, it, it, it gets fused with the lysosomes and digest the food. You can see here out, it contains very strong enzymes, single wall membrane and contains lot of enzymes. As far as the function is concerned, it performs many function. It helps in intracellular digestion as I have been talking about, intracellular digestion, whatever things comes inside, it is broken down by the lysosome. They protect the body from bacteria and other harmful organisms. So, as a part of the same, 
they help in removal of old and worn out cell organelle our cell is a wonderful machine whenever some part is broken they are further simplified into raw material so that it can be used all again uh, you will find they also help in metamorphosis in case of uh, tadpole larva tadpole larva if you have seen they have got tail like structure but the adult frog does not have the tail is digested with the help of lysosomes so that is what we have had in GERL. These organelles are very important in movement of substances, their modification inside and outside the cell. So in the coming videos, we will be talking about the energy producing or organelles or the mitochondria. Till then, read the NCRT book, take notes and give your feedback so that I can make more videos based on your requirement. Have a great stay. Keep watching. Students, keep ahead of your friend by subscribing the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified if there is a new video coming your way.